Hey there, I'm Sean C. Davis. I'm on the developer education team in Netlify, and today I want to show you how in just two commands, you can take a zip file on your local machine and deploy a new site to production. Let's take a look. The first thing I'm going to do is hit the Netlify API to create a new empty site. And to be able to do this, I need a personal access token. I've covered both of these steps in detail in two different videos, and we've linked to both of those in the description below. All right, now when I run this command, the output for that command is going to be saved in this new file called mynewsite.json. So I'm going to open that up in my text editor. All right, that worked, and we have a new site. And let's check it out. First, let's go to the admin URL. This is the link to the Netlify UI where you can see your new site. And we can see I have thunderous shortbread ready to go. In fact, there's even a URL ready for it already. Let's go back and we can see that there is a URL property in the response to that original request. And we can open that up and see that it is a 404 today. And that's what we're going to fix. We're going to build a new index.html page and zip it up. And then we will upload it, deploy it, and we will have that page live in production. Now to do that, we're going to need to reference this new site directly. And the way we do that with the Netlify API is through the site ID, which you can get in either the ID or site ID property. But we'll come back to that. First, let's create that index file. Now we can fill that with the HTML5 boilerplate, but I think we should have some fun here. And I've got cursor open, so I'm gonna ask cursor to, let's, let's, let's have it write the code for me. Let's say, make the, index file uh, celebration of having just deployed a new site to Netlify using just two commands. Make it bright and colorful so I feel happy. And you know, why not? Why not use a fun font? Yeah. And there we go. I now have a celebratory homepage and on yeah, quick glance, it looks like it's going to be nice and bright and cheerful. And of course I could open this up locally, but you know what? Why not test in production? All right, let's pop back over to the terminal and let's zip up that file. So I can say zip dash R my new site dot zip. And then I could just pass it index.html here, but likely you will have more than just one file that you want to upload. And so you can use a wildcard if you want as well. You can use a wildcard with just uh, your, your .html endings. Uh, the key here is that you don't want to zip outside of the directory where your files are. You wanna make sure that you're in that directory. Otherwise, it's going to it's gonna zip those files into a directory, which it will then upload, which will instead deploy your site at whatever the name of that directory is rather than directly to that URL. Now, in this case, recall that I have a JSON file in here and I don't wanna upload that one. So I'm gonna say star.html and we'll notice that I have zipped only the index.html file. So now we're ready to upload this to production. All right, so let's use the curl command to hit the API so that we can upload this zip file and deploy it to our site. All right, we're gonna pass it the authorization header again. And this is gonna be your personal access token, which I recommend putting in an environment variable. Here, I'm just pasting it directly. Obviously not very secure practice. I'm gonna delete this token right after this video so you can't use that and upload sites to my user account. We're gonna specify the content type as well. And this is going to be application slash zip. We'll make it a post request. And then we need to point to the binary of the file itself. And to do that in quotes, we'll use the at sign and then the name of the file. It's, it was my new site.zip. And then we will add our API endpoint and that is gonna be api.netlify.com slash api slash v1. And that is going to be uh, slash sites, and then we need our site ID. So let's go back to the response from originally creating the site. You can get this from the Netlify UI as well, but I'm gonna copy the ID property, and then I'll paste that in here, and then slash builds, and that should do it. Let's run this command. Okay, we get a response, and it 
seems like it was successful. So let's go check out the Netlify UI and see what happens. And right away in my thunderous shortbread site, I can see that I have a new production build starting up. So let's wait for that to finish. All right, that just completed. So let's open the production deploy and look at this. Woohoo! Our site is live on Netlify deployed with just two commands. Now, I guess technically we ran three commands because we zipped it up. It would be two commands if you already had that site in production. So we'll call it two commands. And that's all it takes to go from a zip file locally on your machine to a website in production using Netlify's API. I'm Sean C. Davis, and I'll see you next time.